Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We back with some breaking news. Vic Mensa. Vic Mensa got caught out there um, with some shrooms. Shrooms. <laughs> Sheesh. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Let's dig right into this. This is courtesy of TMZ. Always got to give props where, where props are due. Um, I have the official article linked in the description box. I always loved uh, Vic on uh, that Wolves record. I, I was so impressed by that record, man. I still am. I love that damn song. Um, so TMZ says, uh, Vic Mesa is having a bad trip. <laughs> says, back from Africa, that is, uh, because U.S. customs agents have... Um, him in custody for allegedly turning, returning, excuse me, with a stash of mushrooms, TMZ has learned. The rapper has been taken into custody Saturday at the airport outside of DC where um, he just returned from Ghana. Mm. According to law enforcement sources, Vic was pulled aside for a secondary search and that's when the agents found what they believe were, were the mushrooms. Mm. And then here's his uh, mug shot right here. He's like, damn, man, what the F? Then it says, we're told that uh, they're told, uh, we're told that feds are still testing the substance that, that was allegedly found to confirm it was what they think it was. Vic was booked for felony narcotics uh, pos uh, possession. And then it says, fun fact, the science, the science name, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that shit, uh, remains a schedule, uh, a substance uh, under federal law. Although they're now pushing it in some states to legalize it, um, they're already been uh, discriminalized in some communities. All right. And we have a poll. If you'd like to um, entertain that poll right now, if you're watching live, have you ever done shrooms before? Have you ever uh, dabbled into uh, these these hallucinogenics right here? I'm curious to know if you ever have or not. <laughs> that's up to you if you want to share that. Uh, he says, wow, that's a serious charge. Really? Is it? Good morning, no name Rose. Good morning. What do you guys think about, about stuff like, like shrooms? Do you guys look at that as like a, a hardcore drug? Like, or do you guys look at it as some like light work, like weed? Um, curious to know your opinions on that. Vic has been hanging in Ghana with Chance the Rapper and a lot of people in high places. The duo posed for a picture with the president. And then that, that was the photo we just seen. The Chicago born and raised artists have been traveling around Africa for a couple of weeks to encourage tourism. All right, that's dope. Oh, let's look at that photo one more time. That's what's up. Chance is always doing some positive stuff, man. And I love that about him. There's Hove and him. Hove! We did a video too uh, about a couple of months ago where um, we talk about Jay-Z versus Nas, Jay-Z versus Nas. It's it's such a great effing video. I really want you guys to check that out. Um, it, we had a debate with a great panel. A lot of people just kept coming through. Um, feel free to entertain that too. Do you guys think that Jay-Z or Nas is, is the better MC, the better rapper, um, a answer that however you'd like to answer that. I'm curious to know. Here's a, just a little snippet. We had so much fun doing this. What song does Jay-Z have that, that makes you really think? I do anything. Yes, I do oh, okay. anything, anything yeah. for you. Sing it again. I do anything. Yes, I do oh, okay. anything, anything yeah. for you. Right, right <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's a Grammy. And that's a Grammy, I'm pretty sure. That's a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was, that was my Yo, that was incredible. Like... Sing it again. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that was a great video. Um, it was about an hour and a half debate. We went through album songs because, you know, everyone was talking about the Jay-Z verses. And we were talking about it before all of that. Um, Nas versus Jay-Z. Just search Nas versus Jay-Z uh, DJ Dells in the search. Um, it should come right up. And, and that's how you spell Dells, right by where my Instagram and Twitter is, which you should definitely be following. Um, let's continue on with this story right here. So for people that are just walking in here, um, it looks like uh, Vic was caught up with some shrooms. He's trying to um, get to different levels. That's why a lot of people like to do these things. They, they want to take themselves to different levels. You know what I mean? Some people think that this actually helps you mentally. Some people think that it says, say that this Fs you up mentally, too. Let me know your thoughts on that, you know. Um, we, we, it says here, we reached out to Vic's reps. No word yet. First day back from vacation always sucks. But Vic got it especially rough. Yes. Shit. That sucks. Courtesy of TMZ once again. Vic getting caught out there with some shrooms. Is this a serious thing? Or is this, this ain't that serious. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments and in the chat. Shrooms? On some shrooms? <laughs> Everyone has to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Classic, classic. Um, no Name Rose. Which episode? Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I'm curious to hear. Yeah, see, see, Chef over here says shrooms are medicine. Some people really feel like shrooms helps people mentally. Um, it takes them um, do a mental um, voyage, a mental trip, as some would say, right? And it, and it helps them um, understand things that may be going on that, um, and, and the hallucinogenics in general. I hear that a lot. I've, I've heard Joe Rogan talk about it a lot. Um, I've, taught, I've heard Mike Tyson even talk about it. Uh, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson it, it, it has um, spoken about that openly many times, um, and he's taken more of that that hardcore, heavy Tiger uppercut, that real deal Holyfield shit right there. Um, no pun intended. But um, you know, I I gotta say, man, um, this could be serious. It could be serious, depending on where he is which is dc is where they caught him with it right so that means he's going to get charged in dc so it's all about if, if uh, it's all about how they are going to handle it because it, you know you could be in denver i think like somewhere like denver would be a little more lenient than than maybe dc right so that could be the case when it comes down to that um i did do a poll um, this is going to be a really quick stream because I actually have to take a Zoom call really soon on, you know, Mondays. I I, I got a lot of go going on on Mondays. Um, but um, I did want to cover this story because um, I find it fascinating. And what do y'all think about Vic's music? I'll tell you, man, that Wolf's record, when he was singing on that, it was so amazing. It, it, it was, it you could feel that shit. And then he started rapping on all of his other shit. And that was my introduction to him. Now, I know some of you Vic fans may be like, ah, he's a rapper. He, you don't know about this guy. Yeah, he's been rapping for 50 years before the Kanye West shit. Okay, well, well congratulations. You want an effing trophy? You know what I mean? I got introduced him to the Wolf record, you know? And he's singing that damn beautiful melody and the, the shit got feel to it. And, and, and then I hear, all I hear is him rapping. Get it where you fit in, man. I, I, I never understood that. Why Why are you not doing more of that kind of music when um, you're making a record that that's, that's actually touching people, right? Uh, pause, you know? But um, I never understood that. That was one thing I never understood about Vic uh, Mensa is that he was able to put together a song with Kanye West that, that was very... Um, very special. It was a special record, and it and it and it grabbed grabbed you right. Um, th there was a, a real amazing feel to the record. I always say, look, you've got hip hop records where it's just a beat, and oh oh, you in the club or you chilling, you in the car like this and shit, whipping it. And then there's songs where you're like, this is a vibe. 
Like I'm in a vibe right now. I'm 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 I've got this aura going on. Like th this is that record, Wolves. So I never could understand why he didn't capitalize with that and put out more music singing. I mean, he didn't have a bad voice. I'm not saying he's damn what you know. Whitney Houston or some shit like that, you know, he's not, and, uh, he's not hitting them shits, but he got a vibe to him. And then all of a sudden I'm seeing the music coming out and he's just spitting and rapping. And, and, and it's just something I never understood. I'm about to close up this uh, vote thing. So um, right now it says 69% says they have tried shrooms and 31% says they have not. Okay. 31% says they have not. 30 and, and um, 69% says um, they um, have tried them. Okay. And we'll continue this in the chat, this conversation, and let me know your feelings about it. Um, definitely let me know your feelings about that. Um, I have stock in this. What's the company? Love Lavelle. Can you share that with me? I would love to uh, maybe purchase some shares of that. Now you got me staying until you, you share that. And I got a meeting at 1145. They, they caught him in the airport, Chef. Um, definitely watch this from the beginning. Come on, Love Lavelle. Where, where, are, you, where are these shares at? I'm going to have to do some research. Because if they're saying that it's already, they're already trying to make it legal, then um, that may be a good investment right there. It could be, possibly. Could that be also? So, yeah, well, once again, just to press rewind for people walking in. Um, CMC reports Vic Mess is having a bad trip back from uh, Africa. He hit the airport and they, they, um, this was right outside of D.C. Uh, returning from Ghana. According to our law enforcement sources, Vic was pulled aside for a secondary search. And that's what they found they found to believe was the shrooms. So, um, you know, there's no further word of what's going on with him. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, please hit that thumbs up button. The more likes, the more these videos get out there. If the likes don't get hit, then this thing just gets buried and lost in the wind, you know? It's, so um, please do so. Leave your comments. Refresh this video when I leave and leave your comments so that people can actually read the comment. A lot, a lot of people don't um, don't read the chat. So, you know, re write, write your opinions. Yeah, Mike Tyson, um, he's talked a lot about that. Um um, I, I definitely recommend you watching that Joe Rogan, Mike Tyson interview. It was, it was freaking awesome. It was a little intense. And I, I love Mike Tyson, man. Big fan. Follow my social media. If there's any stories you ever want me to cover, let me know. I will cover them if it's something that I feel that I, I could give you guys some passion and 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 um, and, and some interest in, you know. Um, just tweet me or tag me, you know. Um, and, you know. I do have a budget where I have to pay for this damn stream yard thing. So if you ever want to send a buck or two, send it over there to the cash app and the PayPal. And please write a little bit of um, a memo so I can shout you out on the next show. I always like to thank everyone that sends the donations. Um, all speculation for now. He says, my mushroom, boom, money, investing, red light, hauling. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm DJ Dells. It's nice to meet you all for your first time here. Subscribe, turn notifications on, and I will catch you soon. Dig into the channel. We got a lot of awesome content here, all right? If you enjoyed this video, dig into the channel. We out.